So just a quick revision of electrolysis of the molten substance. So if we want to electrolyze a molten substance, molten substance means it does not contain uh, water. So example, if we have molten NaCl, sodium chloride. So the electrolytic cell, this electrolytic cell consists of molten NaCl. So sodium chloride is there. There is no hydrogen or hydroxide ion because this is a molten substance. It means it does not contain water. We use two electrodes, inert electrode or unreactive electrode. These electrodes are made up of carbon or platinum. The electrode which is connected with a positive terminal, we call that electrode as anode and that's made up of carbon or platinum. The electrode which is connected with a negative terminal, we call that as cathode. It also carbon or platinum. The solution through which we are passing a current, we call that solution as electrolyte. Sometimes we place a lamp here. What is the purpose of the lamp? Basically, it's an indication that the current is passing. The solution is conducting. So we place a lamp here. This is a symbol for the lamp. If the question is show the direction of movement of electrons. So electrons are attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery. So the net charge will be positive here. And electrons from the negative terminal of the battery will move out. So the net charge will be negative because majority of the electrons. So what happened? The positive, the negative ions, unlike charges, attract each other. So negative ions, uh, positive ions are attracted towards the negative electrode and negative ions are attracted towards the positive electrode. So if you want to write an equation for cathode, The positive ions are attracted towards cathode. So if sodium, which is plus I, it take electron and change into sodium atom. So what we'll observe whenever a metal is formed, you can mention a shiny solid form. What is this change, oxidation or reduction? A sodium ion gain electron and change to sodium atom. What is this change called? Oxidation or reduction? Okay, this is reduction because it's a gain of electron. So this change is reduction. And same way at anode what happened? The chloride ions will lose one electron, change to chlorine atom, but it's a non-metal. So when two chloride ions are there, they will lose two electrons and it will form chlorine gas. So whenever a non-metal is given off, you will see bubbles and appearance of the chlorine. It's a pale yellow or yellowish green gas. So you can mention a yellowish green gas is given off at anode. And what happened to electrolyte? The electrolyte, because you separate sodium, you separate chloride ion from each other. So electrolyte will be used up. Nothing left. Is it clear? This is the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. Any doubt in this?
this we already did just a quick for a quick revision i just re explain this idea again what will happen if you was having aqueous concentrated nacl so in that case in this case if you have aqueous concentrated nacl or sodium chloride so you have these electrodes anode and cathode the solution the electrolyte is this aqueous concentrated nacl so what it contain it contains sodium chloride and it contain water as well but because it is concentrated so the term concentrated means more salt and less water so the ions which are present in this sodium ion is there chloride ion which are more and hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion are less because it's a concentrated solution so the ions which are present there is a sodium ion there is hydrogen ion chloride ion and hydroxide ion for positive ion the criteria we check the reactivity the less reactive positive ion will move towards the cathode so which is less reactive here sodium or hydrogen which ion is less reactive sodium ion or hydrogen ion hydrogen so hydrogen ion is less reactive so hydrogen ion is attracted towards cathode so equation for cathode the hydrogen ion it will take electron change to hydrogen atom but hydrogen is a non metal so when two hydrogen ions are there they will take two electron and it will form hydrogen gas so what you will observe you will observe bubbles at cathode and what you will observe at anode for negative ion the criteria is the amount except sulfate nitrates and carbonate will not move so even the they are more in the solution so you have chloride ion and hydroxide ion in this example you have a concentrated sodium chloride so we have more salt as we have more salt the chloride ions are more so they will move towards anode so when chloride ion will lose one electron it change into chlorine atom so when two chloride ions are there they will lose two electron and it will form chlorine gas chlorine gas is uh, yellowish green gas so you will observe yellowish green gas or you can mention bubble so we'll observe bubbles at anode and we'll observe bubbles at cathode what happened to electrolyte the electrolyte means what is left after this electrolysis so you remove hydrogen ion you remove sodium ion uh, sorry chloride ion so you are left with sodium ion and hydroxide ion and this sodium ion and hydroxide ion what they will make they will make the solution alkaline or they will make sodium hydroxide naoh is it clear this is when you are using a concentrated aqueous sodium chloride the third one if you have a dilute solution of sodium chloride or dilute aqueous sodium chloride this is a electrolytic cell and all these cases we are using carbon or graphite or platinum you can say as a electrode so in this case we have dilute sodium chloride aqueous sodium chloride so we have less salt and we have more water the ions which are present sodium ion chloride ion hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion for positive ion the again the criteria is the same 
the less reactive positive ion will move towards cathode. So less reactive positive ion will move towards cathode. So hydrogen is less reactive. So hydrogen ions will take electron, change to hydrogen atom. But if two hydrogen ions are there, they will take two electrons and it will form hydrogen gas. So a non-metal is formed, so you will observe a bubbles or a gas. Colorless gas, or you can mention bubbles. Anode, the criteria for negative ion, the amount, as we know, we have dilute solutions so more hydroxide ion, less chloride ions. So hydroxide ions are attracted towards, whenever hydroxide ion will move towards the anode, when four hydroxide ion will reach there, they will lose four electron and it will give off oxygen. So oxygen is a gas. So whenever a gas is given off, you will observe bubbles. And it will also give off two water molecules. What happened to electrolyte? So what happened to electrolyte? The electrolyte, because you remove hydrogen and you remove hydroxide, so you're left with more NaCl. So it will become concentrated. NaCl. Why I write con become concentrated NaCl? Because hydrogen is removed and hydroxide is removed and hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion, they will make water H2O. So as H and OH are being removed, so it means you're removing or reducing the amount of water. That's why the solution will become concentrated sodium chloride. So these are the three examples. One, the first one was the molten NaCl, <coughs> the first one was a molten NaCl, the second one is concentrated NaCl, and the third one is dilute NaCl. Just for a quick revision, I revise this. Now a new topic <coughs> related to same electrolysis, what will happen? If anode and electrolyte contain same element. So right now we all discussed like uh, we are using a carbon or a platinum electrode, but what will happen if we use anode and electrolyte, they contain a same material. So example, you have electrolytic cell And you have aqueous copper sulfate you have aqueous dilute copper sulfate with copper anode. Cathode can be made up of any material, and, but the anode is made up of copper as well. For example, this is a copper electrode. Cathode can be made up of any material, even you can take a graphite or platinum or even it can be copper as well. But the anode is made up of copper, the same element which the electrolyte contains. Because electrolyte contains copper sulfate and anode is also made up of copper. So what happened in the solution you have copper ion, sulfate ion. So what will happen if anode and electrolyte contain the same element? You can see here anode, I made anode is made up of copper and electrolyte also contain copper. And it is aqueous, so aqueous means hydrogen ion is there and hydroxide ion is there. 
cathode can be made up of any material like cathode can be platinum cathode can be uh, graphite or it can be copper as well it, but it will not make any difference so cathode here in this example can be made up of carbon or graphite it can be made up of platinum or it can be made up of copper or any other metal but anode specifically if the anode contain the same element as the electrolyte so anode in this example consists of copper so what we will observe first the same way the same rule is there what is the criteria for a positive ion for positive ion we always check the reactivity so what happened first add cathode so what happened at cathode the less reactive positive ion is attracted or move towards cathode or discharge at cathode so which is less reactive when you check the reactivity series which is less reactive here because it's a copper sulfate solution it means it contain a copper ion it contains sulfate ion and aqueous i mentioned so it contain hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion which is less reactive copper ion or hydrogen ion copper or hydrogen which is less reactive copper copper ion copper ions are less reactive when you check the reactivity series you have to memorize this reactivity series so you will find that copper is below hydrogen copper is less reactive so as the copper ion is less reactive what happened the copper ion will move towards the cathode so as the copper ion is moving towards the cathode what will be the equation the copper ion will gain two electron and change into copper atom so as it change into copper atom what will happen to size of the cathode increase or decrease so as the copper will stick to the cathode what will happen to size of cathode increase. so it will increase the solid form and the size of cathode increase now which one is because it's in the question it is aqueous dilute copper sulfate so for negative ion what is the criteria the criteria for a negative ion the less react the ion which is more in the solution will move but sulfate nitrate and uh, carbonate will not move so here is a sulfate so sulfate cannot move so which ion will move hydroxide so hydroxide ion is attracted or moving towards the anode but what happened before the hydroxide reach this anode there is another thing happen that because amount of so at anode what happen the amount of positive ion in the solution decrease to overcome this copper atom will change into copper ion and move to the electrolyte so what happen in this case as the copper ion is moved so as the copper ion is moved amount of copper ion in the solution decreasing so as the amount of copper ion in the solution decreases this copper atom what this copper atom will do this copper atom will go inside the solution and it will change into copper ion 
so the negative ions are not able to discharge at anode because what happened the copper atoms are going inside the solution as a copper ion so what will be the equation for anode the copper atom will go inside the solution as a copper ion by losing two electron so copper ion from the electrolyte will move towards the cathode copper atom from anode will go inside the solution as a copper ion so other ions are not able to get chance to discharge so only thing what happen is copper ion will move towards cathode copper atom will go inside the solution as a copper ion so as a copper atom is changing into copper ion what we'll observe we'll observe the size of anode will decrease and what we call when the size of the anode is changing the size of anode is decreasing we call them as active electrodes because electrodes are changing electrolyte within the electrolyte there is no change why there is no change if one copper ion will go out at the same time one copper atom will go inside the solution the second copper ion will go out the second copper atom will go inside the solution so the only thing which is happening is one copper ion is going out and one copper atom go inside the solution as a copper ion is it clear the electrolysis of electrolyte which contains same anode and electrolyte which we call this is a active electrode so during active electrodes what happen the ion which move towards the cathode is balanced by the ion which enter the electrolyte from the anode and to be an active electrode the anode and the electrolyte should contain the same element which is discharging so if it was made up of graphite or platinum then this will not happen take the screenshot i'll give another example then what happened the copper ions are blue in color the color of the copper ion is blue in color so due to this color of the copper ion the solution is also blue the question is during electrolysis what will happen to the color of the solution it will get darker or paler or no change what will happen to the color of the solution three options it will get dark it get dark means amount of copper increase it get pale lighter it means amount of copper in the electrolyte decrease or it will remain same what do you think what will happen dark so basically what happen it will remain same why it will remain same it should get darker but it remains same what is the reason why it remains same because when one copper ion will go out at the same time one copper atom enter so the number of the ion going out and the number of the ions enter is same like if i say one ion is going out and one ion enter the electrolyte so what is the overall change there is no change in copper amount that's why the electrolyte color will not change the color of this electrolyte is due to copper ion which is blue so amount of copper ion within the electrolyte does not change that is why the solution will remain same blue in color it will not get darker or it will not get paler is it clear is it clear okay uh, take the screenshot then i will explain a similar concept of using active electrodes application of using active electrodes
same thing if we are using a silver anode with aqueous dil or dilute silver chloride or silver nitrate silver chloride is insoluble that's why it's silver nitrate electrode the anode should be made up of silver this is an electrolyte sir yes sir in the exam they won't ask us right like why the anode the metal atoms from the anode are ionized will they ask us this question uh, they normally ask for the size like the common questions are identify or what will happen to the size of anode what will happen to size of cathode um, whether the solution color will get darker paler or it will remain okay, same i don't have to give any explanation for the decrease in mass of yes the, you don't have to give you don't have to do okay so reason they will not ask equation they ask like write an equation why the size of anode is decreasing so you will write this equation write an equation why the size of cathode is increasing you write this equation okay sir so example you have silver electrode and you have a silver salt silver nitrate i will do the questions also related to this topic so you will have a better understanding how the question will come cathode can be made up of any material anode is important cathode can be made up of positive and negative terminal you have a silver silver electrode this can be any material that's why i did not specify it can be made up of silver it can be made up of graphite it can be made up of platinum but anode should be made up of same material as the, what is there in electrolyte then what we will do for a positive ion what will happen at cathode so for positive ion what we check we check the reactivity so the less reactive positive ion will discharge at cathode so the less reactive positive ion is discharged at cathode so which is less reactive we check the reactivity series which one is less reactive so silver ion or hydrogen ion silver ion silver ion so silver ion is attracted towards the cathode silver is plus 1 so if ag is plus 1 it will take electron and it will form a silver metal so a shiny solid deposited at cathode so when this solid deposit at cathode what we'll observe we'll observe the size of cathode will increase then what will happen at anode basically the negative ions are attracted but before their movement towards the anode the silver atom which is less because amount of positive ion in the electrolyte or the solution decreases so silver will go inside the solution or electrolyte and it will change into silver ion silver atom will change into silver ion so in this case we have silver atom will change into silver ion and move to the electrolyte so the equation the silver atom will change into silver ion by losing one electron you can see here the two equations are opposite of each other the first equation 
the ion at cathode what was happening the ion was changing into atom and the second equation the atom is changing into ion during active electrodes so silver atom and when one silver ion will move towards the cathode at the same time one silver atom will go inside the solution as a silver ion and what we'll observe the size of the anode the size will decrease so one side the size is increasing as cathode size is increasing anode size is decreasing for electrolyte there is no change in electrolyte because other ions will be there and amount of silver is also not changing so as the amount of silver the electrolyte within electrolyte there is no change what is the advantage or what is the application of this electrolysis this kind of electrolysis can be used for electroplating like example if i want a copper plating i want a silver plating on any object then what i can do i can use this technique to plate a material with the desired substance like example if you want silver plating we should use a silver if you use copper plating we will use copper is it clear so if a question is uh, you can take a screenshot then i will give one more example For example if you want to plate the copper plating of key we want the key to have a layer of copper so how it can be done the electrolytic cell can be used for this purpose copper sulfate anode anode should be made up of the material which we want the plate of like we want a copper plating so anode should be made up of copper cathode is made up of the object which we want to plate so here in this example we want a key to have a layer of copper so object is a key so cathode should be made up of key an electrolyte the electrolyte should be a salt of copper all nitrates are soluble so better select nitrate but you can also select sulfate here so the salt is copper nitrate or copper sulfate why i select a nitrate because all nitrates are soluble so we need a soluble salt so electrolyte is aqueous copper nitrate it will not make difference if it is concentrated or dilute reason for that because Uh, the nitrate ion will not discharge so anode is made up of copper anode contain copper cathode is made up of the key which we want to electroplate and we connect with a battery this is a positive terminal 
a negative terminal. He is connected with the cathode. And here we have proper anode. And the electrolyte contain aqueous copper nitrate. So what are the ions? It contain copper ion. It contain nitrate ion. It contain hydrogen ion because it's aqueous and hydroxide ion. Now what happened at cathode? The less reactive ion will move. So which ion will move, copper or hydrogen? Which ion will discharge at cathode? Copper. Ion. Copper. Copper ions are less reactive, so copper will discharge. So copper will stick. So copper ion, when they will take electron from the cathode, they will stick to the key. So as the copper ion stick to the key, the key will have a layer of copper on its surface. But the part which is dipped in the electrolyte, that will only have the layer. The whole key will not. So you should dip the whole key. Otherwise, only so the key is made of what? The key can be made. Key normally is made up of alloys like brass. Uh, brass can be there. Bronze can be there. Depending on the even uh, stainless steel. If it's a stainless steel, then we don't have to plate. But key can be made up of any material, any alloy. Normally, brass, bronze are used. or silver can also be used. So copper ions are attracted towards the cathode as a copper ion attracted towards cathode, it form a copper atom and these copper atoms stick to the key. So the key will have the layer of copper on its surface. What will happen as the copper ion will discharge or move towards the cathode, the copper atom from the anode will go inside the solution as a copper ion. So the equation for anode equation for anode copper atom will go inside the solution as a copper ion by loss of two electrons. So equation for active electrodes is opposite like the equation at anode is opposite of equation at cathode. Here the copper ion are gaining electrons so reduction. Here copper atom loses electrons so it is oxidation and we'll have a layer of copper on the surface of the key. The key, we should uh, rotate this key continuously. Why we should rotate this key continuously when we are electroplating? To put it in all directions. If to have a uniform layer, because maybe the electrolyte may not have an equal distribution of the copper ion. So you have to have a uniform layer or uniform plating, the key should be rotated. In the start of the experiment, the key should be clean. How will clean the surface of the key? In, because sometimes, yes, use distilled water. Uh, the surface of the, if you want to clean the surface of the metal, we use a sandpaper. This sandpaper or a rough paper is used to make the surface smooth. So, if a question is how you will make or clean or make a smooth surface, because sometimes what happened, rusting or corrosion can happen. So, you remove the rust or corrosion by using a sandpaper and then you use electroplating. Is it clear? Any doubt in this? I'll share another link. Uh, this will end less than a minute. Any doubt related to this topic? Sir, any yes. metal which is less reactive than hydrogen, I can, can only be, use- Can be used, that's correct. Stuff. In this case, 